How to improve your sales skills? First, become an excellent public speaker. I know it's not easy, but at the same time, you need to know that you can take courses in public speaking where you can really enhance your public speaking skills. Two, and here I would actually put it as one, improve your listening skills. When we say improve your listening skills, it's very important because people tend to listen less and speak more, okay? Uh, you need to listen and you need to do active listening to understand as the client is speaking, try to understand what his needs are. Think outside the box. You do not always need to refer to traditional means of selling or of doing anything to convince the client. Sometimes doing something unexpected, doing something out of the box actually does it for you. Streamline your pitch. Streamline and prepare your pitch. You have, let's say, 20 seconds or maybe two minutes or whatever the time you have to convince your client. Make sure your pitch is strong enough to be able to be as convincing in the least minimum, in the least possible time. Put yourself in the shoes of your buyer. This is very important because when you do that, you are more capable of understanding his needs and mostly his constraints. Okay, and then you can work on adapting the solution for him. Establish a next step before leaving a meeting or getting off the phone. And this is the most crucial one. Whenever you make a contact with a client, and even if the client tells you, for instance, I'm not looking to buy now, you don't go and tell them, ah, oh, okay, thank you for your time, and you just leave. No, because when you do that, it means that you kind of lost contact with that client. So you would say something like, okay, if you're not looking to buy it now, is there any idea of when you're looking to buy it? So let's say the client would say maybe uh, not in less than three months. So you say, oh, okay, I'll put it on my agenda. I'll make sure to call you or to contact you in two months, okay? Or I will send you the product updates in two months, and then we can discuss later in three months. So this way, you would have a step forward to look to. Now, Alex is saying doing something out of the box may ruin your positive image of faith. Um, it could be risky, Alex, that's right, but you have to make sure that whatever it is that you're doing outside the box still goes in line with the image of your company. This is one. And two, it's something that you can do with the client you're at. There are clients that do not accept to be having something maybe unexpected, but there are clients who are open-minded enough or open to new ideas enough for them to appreciate your effort of doing something out of the box. And finally, develop relationships with, with important clients, which means that whenever when the clients that make the most of your revenues, make sure you, you pamper them. I'm not saying pamper them means send them a gift every now and then. It's not that, but it's, it's mostly uh, make sure that they get the, the right product update they are invited to the events that you are doing, etc. So spend effort, time, and resources on those important clients.